Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy of Kathy's Cash and Coin. I'm a single mom with three daughters, although my oldest is grown and out of the house. My middle daughter is now away at college and my youngest is my 11 year old that lives here with me in our home. Thank you for stopping by and checking out another video. Today is savings challenge day and I have a lot of challenges, so we're gonna get right into it. Thank you again for watching. Just a heads up, it is extremely windy out tonight. So um, as I'm filming, I should say, so if you hear the wind in the background, I apologize, um, but hopefully it's not too bad. So as always, we're gonna start with the coins. All right, so our coins, we're starting at 9407. And these coins um, are gonna be our spending money for our vacation, whatever that may be. Um, I know I had talked about in my budget with me that um, we might not be going to back to Universal next January, but we are definitely gonna go on a vacation either January or spring break next year. Um, we will see where, where that may be. And again, a reminder, I have to use the plus sign for pennies because this counter likes to count them as dimes. All right, so we added almost a dollar, not quite a dollar. So that's it for the coins. So we are gonna start by counting the money. Man, it is so windy out there. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it is, whoo, wow. 20, 40, 60, 80. And I'm gonna keep this separate because that's a star note. 90, 100, 5, that's another star note, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 135, 37, 39, 41, 43, 45, 145, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 155 dollars and I will talk about the star notes when we get to that challenge but we are going to start these over with my bucks binder and this binder was created by reinventing Renee and for each uh one dollar and two dollar bill um they all have a letter on them based on where they're from, A through L. Uh, let's see, J is Kansas City, Missouri. So um, I think J's are low anyway. J -I oh, I's are low, J, yep. There's only four J's, so we're gonna take that J right now. All of these will be going to debt. Let me see what else I have, C. Oh, another J. We're gonna do the two J's. Um, and I did get a question because I will be condensing this. This thing is getting very fat. And once I find them, I don't mind, you know, um, swapping them out for a $5 bill. I, it's still fun to try and find them to get these filled up. Um, but there's no way that 25, to, I mean, this thing will be totally stuffed. This is what it's like with some have already been condensed to a $5. So, all right, so we're going with J. Mm -mm. I just break. I just broke it. I broke it. All right. So for J, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And exactly why I need to condense is because, like, what just happened? I just broke the envelope, but I can tape it up. I can relaminate it. All sorts of things. So, again, this binder and this challenge from reinventing Renee. And it will all be going to debt when it's completed. Next is the challenge that I created with the binder I won from Budget with Emmy. And I decided there's 20 envelopes. And in each envelope, I'm going to put a 1, a 2, a 5, a 10, a 20, a 50, and a 100 in them. Um, so we're going to go to the 
number four envelope and we're gonna add a two dollar bill since we have some of those today and that's all we're gonna do today in this uh, this binder So again, this challenge is something I just made on Excel real quick. It will total $3,760 when it's all completed. Long way to go, slowly but surely. All right, next we are moving on to my beautiful binder from Budget with Free, crafted by Free on Etsy. We are skipping the Roll the Dice Challenge. We've completed that recently. We are moving on to my investing challenge and I always make sure to put at least a dollar a day away for investing um, realty income and whatever the pick of the month is I still don't know what that is it will be split between the two so we're gonna do seven dollars and we should have seven already in here no we should have 14 in here so that was seven seven we have 14 hmm I didn't track somewhere, so we're going to add 7. So we should have, be at 21 now. 5, 10, 15, 17, 19, 20, $21. So I didn't track a couple. And this is from Mommy Trader. If you want to learn simple steps about investing, beginner investing, check out Mommy Trader. Um, she's awesome. We are starting finally my challenge from Josie at Simple Plans. I um, have been needing to start this because 2023 is rolling along and I have yet to stuff this. The smallest number on here is 20. I'm pretty sure I saw a 20 on here. Um, and that's what we're going to do today because we don't have a whole lot of money and we have a lot of challenges, but at least it's started. Yes, I see a 20 right there. All right, so we have $20 started. She sent me two, um, and this was super awesome of her. So we have $20 started for my 2023 challenge from Josie at Simple Plans. Moving on to Mel's Fresh Start Challenge. This is a challenge her daughter created. Winter is coming. Friends don't let friends go winter alone. So I thought this challenge was going to be about done. So I've been putting stickers on here and adding $2 every day it snowed. Since my last cash stuffing for challenges, it has snowed three times. And I'm shocked. So we're going to add $6. And three stickers. So now, in the Winter is Coming Challenge from Mel's Fresh Start, we have 10, 15, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 37, 38 dollars. And I'm hoping this is done for the year now. Um, I really didn't think I was going to keep adding to it. So, And the $1 and $5 savings challenges, we will start again soon. But that's it for this binder. All right, guys, we're moving on to Shut the Box, another one from Reinventing Renee. So the idea is to get all the numbers um, with the combination of one or two die, two dice. So my first is six. So we're going to go ahead and knock out the six. I could do the five and the one or the four and the two. Oh, this is a darker green. Sorry for those who that annoys. And we got three. So I'm gonna knock out the three. And we have an eight. So we're gonna knock out the eight. And we have four. Oh my gosh. Knocking out the small numbers, that's for sure. And we have six. So we could do the five and the one. And 
and we have eight so we are out because seven and two is nine and all we have left is nine so we are adding eighteen dollars to shut the box today i think if i just did my math right we should have 161 after we add the 18. so we're going to put two dollars back these are some crummy bills two dollars back and take a 20 and we should have 161, I said, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 35, 45, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, and 61. $161 and shut the box. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And this will most likely be going to debt as well. All right, so for the scratch-offs, I actually have a couple different things going on in, in this envelope, which is why I like the bigger envelopes, the A5. These are huge. Um, so this 20 goes with this, and that will be next. This challenge is from Hands and Bands, Alicia at Hands and Bands, and this is just for donations uh, within the community. If somebody's in need, something like that, that's what this money will be set aside for. All right, so it's getting another $5, so it's gonna be at $25 now. And Alicia was the original creator of the Scratch Off, which is such a hit in the community, which you will see in my next one. This one is from Kim at Star Budgets, and I decided all my savings challenges for holidays. Today is St. Patrick's Day, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, uh, I will be funding holidays with scratch offs. I have this one. I have an Easter one. I have a 4th of July one. So I'm just going to go ahead and scratch a couple of these. One dollar. So we're at one. And four. So we have five dollars. We're going to add with this one. And this is from Kim at Star Budgets. And then we have my scratch off from Tanya's Budget and Chaotic Life. This is an Easter challenge. The total is $2.75. So I decided not to um, stuff the full amount. If it's a really high number, I'm just gonna um, like cut it in half depending on what the number is. Obviously, if it was a five, I left it a five. So we are gonna go ahead and get do this one. All right, yes, another $5. So I'm gonna put these two fives back and take a 10, and we'll leave that there for now. We have one more Easter challenge we're working on, and this is in my Paper by Mo uh, Challenge, 2023 challenge book. Um, again, I don't need that much money for Easter, so I am doing the $50 for this. So we are going to go ahead and do half of an Easter egg again. All right, so it's getting $5. So let's see where we are for holidays. And I stopped stuffing my holidays envelope in my revolving binder because I knew I had these challenges going. Um, we didn't really spend any money for St. Patrick's Day, but we sure will for Easter and every holiday pretty much. Um, so we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 5, 90, 5, 100, 5, 7, 9, 11, 100 and 11 dollars for holidays, which is pretty cool. As you saw, I had some star notes or Starbucks as D versus debt. This is a challenge from her. Uh, so I have a $5 star note there and a $20 star note there. So what it means is that these bills were reprinted um, for some kind of error and um, you can check them and I forget the exact website, but if you just put in star note um, you can check whether um, or not it's rare. If it's rare, then it'll be worth more than face value. If it's, you know, uh, if there was a million of them printed or whatever, then they're not going to be worth more than face value. So 
anyone I've checked, they're all, they're all just worth face value. I don't have any rare ones. So we are adding $25 today, which means we should have $135. And I just need to find four more, four more, and I'll be done. All right, so we have 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, oh, 17, 19, 21, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 135 dollars in Star Starbucks. And again, this challenge was from D versus Debt. We are moving on to the Father's Day Challenge from Tasha at Mind Your Money, um, TashaLovesLife.com. These are all things that, you know, your poss possibly your father would say. Um, so I am trying to find a different blue that we haven't used. Maybe this one. I am going to go with what did mom say this week? and go ahead and add the five dollars so in here i have the mother's day money, mom's heart money but that challenge i did i will probably start it again um we saved 340 for mother's day and now another five dollars for father's day so we have five ten fifteen twenty dollars for father's day and whatever's left i i can't imagine spending all of this money for mother's day but maybe um for my sisters my mom uh, all the moms in my life and then we have whatever's left can go to father's day as well so we are really ready for mother's day and father's day this year which is awesome all right moving on to the aquarius challenge because i am an aquarius i wanted to do this challenge this is from mel at mystic budgets the sassy mystic shop um <laughs> Where are we at here? We're at $96. I think I am going to do... I'm going to do $14 on this one. So I'm going to do two hearts and a wand. Two hearts and a wand should be fourteen dollars added to the Aquarius challenge, and I'm not sure what I'll do with this money. It will probably end up going to debt, but so we're gonna put. Mm, let's see, fourteen. So we're gonna go two, four, six back, and take a twenty. So we now have twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred. 102, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 110, and this total sh sh is 120. So, yeah, 10 more dollars next week, and this challenge will be completed. And I might just take this and add it to um, my daughter's birthdays, birthday envelopes, and then I will do a Sagittarius one for Ari because. My two daughters are Aquariuses like me, and then Ari is the oddball, and she's a Sagittarius. So I might go ahead and grab that from Mel and then um, have all the money for my girls' birthdays ready to go. All right, so we have my money here for my MacBook. And what I did was started this, and this is from D Plans and Budget. It's so cute. I just love it. Um, I decided to do hers towards this because I know she just got herself a new iPad. So I thought hers would be perfect to go ahead and do. Um, and what I'm doing is trying to get extra money. This is money for the actual MacBook. And then I want to be able to get the Apple Care and any accessories I want without having to worry about where that money's gonna come from. Oh, it's $3. I think I'm gonna scratch one more. So we'll do three. 
I'm going to scratch another one. one. Okay, two. I feel like I could do more. Okay, we're going to stop there. We're adding $5 today. Awesome. So we have 22 24 $25 for my added stuff for my MacBook. Yay. Moving on to my $50 New Year's challenge. Um, we are doing the $5 icons. So let's see. Two, four, six, eight. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do one $5 icon. Add five dollars, and this is from Phoebe at Mori Tummy Savings. We did the twenty dollar one. We're working on the fifty, and then we'll move on to the hundred. So we now have, let's see here, twenty five, thirty five, thirty seven, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five dollars in my New Year's savings challenge from Phoebe at Mori Tummy Savings. So we are moving on to the three hundred savings challenge from D versus debt and this one let's see Ten. Mm. what if we left 10 here well how much would we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Is 16 available? Yes, we're gonna add $16. Yeah, we're gonna add 16 here. So for the $300 challenge, we have 50, 60, 70, 85, 87, 89, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 109 dollars. This adds up really fast. Again, from D versus Debt. And as always, I saved the best for last. This game is from Liz, Liz and Les. So, um, I got a lot of comments on my last video with some great words. Some of them I could not use though, because the letters have to touch either diagonal or, um, you know, horizontal, vertical, they have to touch. So for instance, I was given the word, um, I'm trying to think, uh, so S O W S O doesn't touch the W. Um, so the, they have to touch in some way. I did wipe this out and make it larger and I'll zoom in the best I can so you guys can see the words I already have but I am going to use a few that were given to me um if I remember I'll put the comment up here um and the name was I N Bustos in Bustos um the one word I was able to use from her was gear g-e-a-r gear and so that is two dollars awesome thank you so much and Veronica M gave me Sear, S-E-A-R, which was $2. And she also gave me Siege, S-E-I-G-E, -E, which is $3. And then I saw, um, what was the word I saw? Rise, R. I S E. So all these words, see R I S E. They touch. Um, Sear is S E A R. Gear, G E A R or R. Either one. So the letter. I'm sorry. The the letters have to touch. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm open to any help I can get. Let's see. I have. Did I take the money for those? Ooh, I can't remember now. What, what did I add? Gear one. So two, four, six, nine. Two, four, six, seven. So I didn't take the eight, nine. Okay, I didn't take it. So I need to find a three letter word that I don't have already. So I have or, war, wa, oh, or, war, C, Y, and R. Oh, I could do the other C, S, E, A, the C. Okay, 
So this is the list I have so far. And like I said, the letters have to touch and you can't use the same letter twice. So if you use the S in the beginning of it, Oh, I see another word right now. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna um, try and remember that for next time. Anyway, they have to touch in some way um, and you can't use the same letter twice. I hope that makes sense. All right, so, and these are what I have. So I appreciate your help, you guys. I really do. <laughs> I don't mind the help at all or I wouldn't be doing it on here to get the suggestions. And this is from Liz and Les. It's a called Struggle. Her game is called Struggle. Um, and it is a boggle. It's called Boggle if you want the real game. I love Boggle. So we have 5, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 dollars already. Awesome. We need some six, seven, and eight letter words though. We'll get there somehow. <laughs> Well, that's it, guys. We knocked out $155 pretty quickly. So thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited. I finally got to start a new, uh, my 2023 challenge. I've been wanting to start that for a while um, and making good progress on the others. So um, thank you again. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys take care. Have a blessed day. Bye.